Hey everyone, welcome back to Footy Leagues Around the World. It is your host, Ryan. You know who loves football? The Vietnamese. Tens of thousands of people stormed the country's streets back in May of 2022 when both the men's and women's national football teams won gold at the 2021 Southeast Asian Games. From the looks of it, it was quite the party. Clearly, Vietnam has a lot of passion for their national football teams, but what about their club teams? In today's episode, we will be exploring and explaining the football pyramid of Vietnam. Footy leagues around the world. Footy leagues, heck yeah. A quick shout out to these two viewers for suggesting this episode. If there's a country you want to see me cover next, let me know in the comments below. We're getting a ton of requests and I promise we will get to them all eventually, so thank you for your patience. Okay, without further ado, let's do some learning about Vietnam. Vietnam is a country located at the eastern edge of mainland Southeast Asia, bordered by China to the north and Laos and Cambodia to the west. The country's estimated population is just over 100 million. Its official language is Vietnamese, its capital is Hanoi, and its largest city is Ho Chi Minh City. There are four tiers to the Vietnamese football pyramid. At the top is the V League One, also known as the Nightwolf V League One for sponsorship reasons. This year, for the first time since the 2001-02 season, the league played an inter-year autumn to spring schedule, instead of a spring to autumn single year schedule. This season started in October and lasted until June. 14 teams play 26 games each. At the end of the season, the league winner qualifies for a spot in the AFC Champions League 2 group stage. That's right, even if you win the league in Vietnam, you're still not guaranteed a spot in Asia's top club competition, which is being rebranded as the AFC Champions League Elite. There have been some major changes in AFC club competitions recently, and it could be worth a video of its own. For now, since Vietnam's league system is ranked as the 14th best in the AFC and the 7th in the East region, they only qualify for the Champions League 2, basically Asia's equivalent of the Europa League. As of this past season, teams that finished second and third in the V-League 1 now qualify for the 2025-26 edition of the ASEAN Club Championship, also known as the Shopee Cup. This is a club competition between the 12 members of the ASEAN Football Federation. This competition has only been completed twice in 2003 and 2005, but it is finally back as of 2024-25. In this iteration of the cup, the 2023 winner of the V-League 1 and the 2023 Vietnamese Cup winner are competing. Back to the V-League 1. The bottom team at the end of the season is automatically relegated while the second to last team qualifies for a relegation playoff between the second place team and the V-League 2. As of the 2023-24 season, the winner of the V-League 1 receives 5 billion Vietnamese dong, second place receives 3 billion, and third place receives 1.5 billion. Second on the pyramid is the V-League 2. This season started with 12 teams before Binh Thuan dropped out. As a result, each team played 20 games. The league winner is automatically promoted to the V-League 1, while the second place team enters the promotion playoff. The bottom team is relegated. Both the V-League 1 and V-League 2 are fully professional. Third on the pyramid is the Vietnamese Football League Second Division, which I've also seen referred to as League 2. The season begins in March with 14 teams split into two groups based on geography. Each team then plays the other teams in their group twice before the top two teams in each group move on to a final playoff round. In the final round, which happens in June, the top team from Group A plays the second best team from Group B, and the same goes for the top team in Group B playing the second best team in Group A. After each of these games, the winning teams are automatically promoted to V-League 2. The bottom team from each group is automatically relegated to the final level of the men's football pyramid the Vietnamese Football League 3rd Division, which I've also seen referred to as League 3. It's hard to know how many teams are competing in this league as of 2024 since 10 teams competed in 2023 and 14 teams competed in 2022. What I can tell you is that the format of League 3 is nearly identical to the format of League 2. A set amount of teams are divided evenly by geography, they play each team in their group twice before two teams are eventually promoted. 
There is no relegation from this level of football. League 3 is considered an amateur competition, while League 2 is considered semi-pro. The two most successful clubs in V-League 1 history are Hanoi FC and the Kong Vitel FC, who both have six titles each. The winner of the league this year is Tepzin Nam Dim FC, who clinched their first title since 1985 and their second all-time. Besides its men's leagues, there is also a women's league called the Women's National League, or the Taisong Back Cup for sponsorship reasons. In this league, which lasts from August to October, eight teams play 14 games each before a winner is crowned. The league's most successful team is Ho Chi Minh City, who have won 12 titles, including five in a row, and seven in the last eight years. Now that is a dynasty. Besides its leagues, Vietnam also has a few cup competitions. The first is the Vietnamese National Cup, your standard knockout competition, held between each team from the V-League 1 and the V-League 2. The tournament is single elimination until a winner is crowned. That winner earns a spot in the playoff round of the AFC Champions League 2. The tournament has been won most by these three teams, who have all won the cup three times. There is also a Women's National Cup that works just like the Men's Cup, but is only played between the eight teams in the Women's National League. Ho Chi Minh City have won the most cups with three. Finally, there is the Men's Super Cup, officially known as the Thaco National Football Super Cup for sponsorship reasons. It is a preseason match played between the winner of the league from the previous year and the winner of the National Cup from the previous year. Hanoi FC have won the most Super Cup trophies with five. Vietnam's top football clubs are spread throughout the country, though Hanoi currently has the largest portion of V-League 1 teams with three. All three of those clubs play in a single stadium, the 22,500 capacity Hong Day Stadium. The largest stadium used by a V-League 1 team is the 30,000 capacity Thing Chum Stadium in Nam Din, home of Nam Dim FC. Most stadiums in Vietnam are a few decades old, with the exception of the 2,500 capacity Hoa Zun Stadium, located in Da Nang and home of SHB Da Nang. This stadium opened in 2016. There are a number of great derbies and rivalry games in Vietnam, perhaps the most notable being the Vietnamese Super Derby between Hanoi and Wong Ain Zai Lai. Hanoi currently has the most wins in this matchup. There's also the Northern Derby between Hanoi and Haiphong FC, the three capital derbies, the North Central Derbies, just too many to get into, so we will move on. Football was introduced in Vietnam by the French at the end of the 19th century when the area, known as French Indochina, was a French colony. Specifically, the game is believed to have been brought to the southern part of the country first, when the colony was called Cochin, China, and to the city of Saigon. Saigon, of course, would later change its name to Ho Chi Minh City. Some teams formed, matches were played, but nothing really organized until after the country declared its independence from France in 1945. In 1947, Vietnam played its first official national team match against British Hong Kong, which they lost 3-2. Vietnam then became FIFA-affiliated in 1952. Two years later, the Geneva Accord was signed, which would divide the country into North and South. That same year, South Vietnam became affiliated with the Asian Football Confederation. North Vietnam would never be affiliated with either the AFC or with FIFA, though that didn't stop it from forming a national team and competing in the Games of New Emerging Forces, a counter to the Olympic Games. In 1955, organized league football began in North Vietnam, while the South would form a league five years later. That same year, the Vietnam Football Association was established in North Vietnam, which would eventually become the Vietnam Football Federation, the country's current football governing body. Despite the Vietnam War going on, league seasons in both countries did happen and were completed. Records were less well kept in the South, and I have found some contradictory information. But two sources I found said that the first South Vietnam V-League title was won by Hai Quan, which later turned into Ho Chi Minh City Customs FC before dissolving in 2002. The last three titles in the South were won by Kong Saigon, which later became Ho Chi Minh City FC. Meanwhile in the North, the North Vietnam V-League was dominated by two teams. Quo Lac Bo Quan Doi, which won six titles, and Kong An Hai Phong, 
which won 10 titles. Both teams are still around today and are known respectively as Haiphong FC and the Kong Vitel FC. After Vietnam was reunified in 1976, it gained FIFA and AFC affiliation. Though its national team wouldn't play a match until the Southeast Asian Games in 1991. Club football was also relegated to separate regional tournaments until the V-League 1, as we know it today, began in 1980. The Vietnamese National Football Cup was founded in 1992. The Women's National League was founded in 1998. Ahead of the 2000-2001 season, the men's V-League became fully professional, and foreign players were allowed into the league for the first time. Vietnam has never qualified for a World Cup, and has never won an AFC Asian Cup, though they have won two AFF championships, one in 2008 and one in 2018. Maybe their next title will be here in 2028. At the club level, a Vietnamese side has never made it to the championship of any modern AFC Champions League competition, or the ASEAN Club Championship. Teams in the V-League 1 are only allowed to register three foreign players on their roster, as well as one unnaturalized Vietnamese player, or someone who is of Vietnamese descent but was born abroad. Additionally, teams competing in AFC competitions are allowed to register a fourth foreign player on their roster, but that team can only field up to three foreign players during any league game. In the V-League 2, no foreign players are allowed to be registered, except for a single non-naturalized Vietnamese player. Because of these restrictive player rules, only 55 players, or about 13% of those playing in the V-League 1, are considered foreign. Like leagues featured in another video we've made on this channel, the V-League 1 is dominated by Brazilians. According to Transfer Market, there were 30 of them in the league last year, which includes players who were not registered for the past season, yet are still on V-League 1 rosters. Other foreign players are of African descent and come from Nigeria, Cameroon, Uganda, Cote d'Ivoire, Congo, Senegal, Egypt, and Sierra Leone. There are Europeans from the likes of Russia, Slovakia, Croatia, France, Luxembourg, and Denmark. There are North Americans from Haiti, Jamaica, and the United States. And finally, there are players from Colombia, Australia, and Uzbekistan. The player with the most appearances in V-League 1 history is Leighton Tai, who played 434 games in the league between 2003 and 2022. The league's all-time leading scorer is Samson Koda Alale, also known as Juan Vu Samson. He has played in the country nearly his entire career and has scored 214 goals, including 12 this past season, for Quan Nam FC. Nearly all of Vietnam's recent national team call-ups play their club football in Vietnam, with the exception of Wing Kong Fu, who plays in Japan for Yokohama, and Andre Nguyen, who plays for Czech side Sigma Alamok. For those that can't go to games, games are broadcasted domestically by FPT Telecom, mainly through FPT Play and TV360. FPT Telecom's most recent television contract with the V-League One is the league's most lucrative TV deal ever, supposedly worth 2.5 million US dollars for a single season. For those outside of the country, the YouTube channel FPT Bong De Viet features full match videos for certain games and full highlights from each game, all in HD. Well, that's it for Vietnam. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give us a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for the support, and until next time, happy football watching.